Hey, what's happening there, folks? It's G the Hat Guy here, back, back here with you again. Thanks for uh, clicking on to watch the video today. Um, as you can see in the title of the video, it says top three popular but unpopular hats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got some great uh, hat content coming your way on this on this channel here. Okay, we're going to be having some, uh, sharing some hat fun, hat entertainment, uh, various types of hat content. We're going to be hitting the road, bringing you more content on the road regarding hats. Okay, so stay tuned. Make sure you uh, hit the notification bell so as soon as I post a video, uh, you're well informed. Okay, like, share, comment, let me know what's on your mind. Um, also, if you know anybody else uh, who's trying to get into hats or somebody who's a hat person, hat man or woman, uh, make sure you uh, share this with them as well, okay? Uh, you can check me out on Instagram. It's G the Hat Guy, okay? I've been in the hat business uh, for several years and uh, just trying to share my passion with different folks, whatnot, uh, uh, regarding different areas about hats, okay? So we're going to jump right into the video here. Uh, again, it's top three popular but unpopular hats. Okay, so here we go. We've got some surprises. Make sure you watch the video till the end. And uh, the last, the last one that I'm gonna show you, uh, what not, uh, you know, that might throw you off, but not throw you off, you know, at the same time. So stay tuned. Make sure you watch the video to the end. So here we go. Uh, the very first one, as you can see here, right in front of me. I've got the Hamburg here, and that's the Godfather hat. Okay, the Hamburg. Okay, uh, it's a popular hat, you know, uh, amongst the uh, older generations, whatnot. Uh, you know, I said like baby boomer generation, and uh, and prior to that, whatnot. Uh, for folks, uh, you know, whether it's Generation X uh, or younger, whatnot. Uh, you know, it's not as popular, uh, but it is a popular hat uh, again because uh, you know folks still wear them. And this hat, particular hat, is not for everybody. This is the boss hat. That's the, the nickname that I call the boss hat because you know, like the old school Italian movies, you see just the bosses. They're the ones that wear this. Not everybody can pull this off. Okay, and it's not for everybody. It doesn't fit. Or look good in everybody okay uh, this one is a European fur felt uh, it's got a nice center dent right there it's got a complimentary multicolor feather got a little bit of toast color black white you know chocolate brown and that feather right there very nice it's got the edge binding as you can see the ribbon is kind of sewn around the edges the also the brim is curved up on the sides there you see and it's kind of straight in the back okay uh, it's got a nice complimentary uh, contrast uh, hat band in black right on there. The hat itself is gray. Okay, very nice. Well done with this here. You know, uh, nice uh, formal look, you know, dress look, whatnot. You can rock it, you know, with some black pants, you know, uh, maybe a black coat, you know, uh, you know, ne necessarily not having any gray on your outfit if you want to put some gray in it that's fine but you can definitely uh use this as a substitute for like black you know uh or if you if you want to wear like black pants and black shoes you know with like a black coat or something like that you know th this would work as well it doesn't have to be all gray outfit kind of thing you know like all matchy matchy you know so <laughs> that's why i say about that but anyways um so yeah the humberg you know a lot of people you know i say a lot of people have kind of slept on the Humburg, you know, over the years, whatnot. But it's a boss hat, you know. Uh, it's not for everybody. You know, when you put this hat on, you feel like a boss. You know, most definitely. Like I said, the old uh, mob movies and stuff like that. And some of the uh, old school stylish movies, you know. You see the people that that really know about style and that kind of thing, you know. They, 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 they put on the Humburg, you know. And there are quite a few versions of the Humburg. This one has got a more of a little bit of a traditional uh, uh, at the same time uh, Eastern European type look to it you know some Humburgs the curve is about the same all around some of the ones that you see uh, from Britain some of the British type 
Humberg, you'll see the curve instead of it just being curved up on the side and then kind of flat in the front and in the back. You know, you see the curve is like an even curve all around, you know, just with a center dent right there. You know, those kind of Humbergs too, you know, you see those out there as well. And that actually might be uh, the uh, the number one probably most popular look of the Humberg out there where the brim is kind of curved up all around like that, just with a center dent. But you can still tell that it's a Humberg, you know, so. Uh, so yeah, the Humberg is one of those hats. Like I said, it's kind of popular but unpopular uh, because you know w w within the younger generation, they seem to be more into like fedoras and, and and that kind of stuff. You know, so that's really popular right now, especially the wide brims. Okay, so that's the first one, the Humberg. We got that. So the second popular and unpopular hat that's gonna go to uh, this one I have here. That's going to be the Derby, you know, uh, and the British also call it like the bowler hat, whatnot. Again, this one has got more of a, a little bit of a, uh, with this particular brand, a little bit of a uh, Eastern European twist to it. Uh, again, the, uh, the, uh, the Derby or the bowler hat. You know, we have like an open crown where there's no shape, there's no dent on the top, there's no pinches in the front like that. It's kind of round dome like that. And then, uh, you know, uh, this one, the brim is kind of, uh, it's got a little bit of a curve on the side, but then uh, kind of flat all around. You know, it's got, you know, the, the edge of the brim is standing up, you know, it's curved up. And then it's got an edge binding as well. This is all black rabbit uh, fur felt on this here. Uh, but uh, like I was saying, you know, you will find the traditional look of the uh, derby uh, or the bowler hat, you know, uh, uh, that can be considered one and the same, you know, would be more of a, of a taller, uh, I would say the bowler is probably more of a taller, a little bit like a little bit taller version of, of the derby, whatnot. I'll say, um, you know, it, it will have like a curve. You know, the curve would be, uh, it will be more curvy. You know, instead of a straight curve like that, it'll be more curvy all around the actual brim itself, not just the edge. You know, the actual brim itself has got a curve in it. You know, this one is more of a uh, almost kind of like a straight brim but then the edge is curved up you know it's got like that uh pencil curl you know edge whatnot on this one but yeah the derby uh you know it's one of those hats that's kind of popular with the older generation but then again you know the younger generation they're really uh they don't know nothing about that whatnot um uh, they're really not uh in tune with the derby you know there's a few folks sharing there that maybe they've learned certain things from uh their parents, you know, over the years, and maybe they wear some of their uh, uh, dad's hat or something like that, you know, um, and so they're kind of learning about hats and that kind of thing, so they might know a few things about the derby, whatnot, or bowler hat, whatnot, but yeah, like I said, you know, this is the, uh, the number two uh, hat that is popular, but unpopular uh, at the same time, you know, very nice open crown design. Got a nice complimentary uh, band, you know, right there on the side there. It's got some styling with this particular brand. You know, uh, they have like the double uh, on the end. They're the double, uh, more, more for aesthetics, you know, you see the the band, you know, they're, uh, you know, it's kind of folded over, you know, the hook that's hooking up the band there is kind of folded. That's to kind of give it more of an aesthetic, stylish look. And then on the end, you've got like a double uh, hat band uh, type look, you know, again, for aesthetic design look, you know, in the back there as well. But, uh, very nice. Um, so, like I said, if you stay to the end of the video, watch, make sure you watch to the end. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. I've got a third subscribe for The third one that I've got is a surprise for you. Okay. This one is, is very popular, actually. It's very popular. Uh, but at the same time, it's unpopular. You know, this particular style hat, you know, uh, it's been popular for a long time. 
and it's still very strongly popular, uh, you know, with a certain segment of hat wearers, you know, typically whatnot. Um, but yeah, let, let, let's let's break it out. Uh, pretty much what we're looking at here, okay, is uh, voila, is the open road, the open road. You know, hat design is popular with a lot of uh, cowboy style hats, you know, country style hats, whatnot, whether in store, you know, uh, different types of store, Toyo store, Panama store, you know, paper store, whatnot, or in uh, like beaver or rabbit, you know, as well. So, but this is more of a dressy open row. You see that open row? This is actually a uh, rabbit fur felt. With this particular brand, it's more of a dressy uh, open row, and it's got the edge binding right there. You know, you see the ribbon kind of sewn to the edge there. That's the edge binding. It's got the traditional uh, uh, band of the open row, really thin band look like that again with that country style look. You know, you see that open row design right there. That's the open row. You know, it's got the center dent and it's got two dents on the side like there. You see. That's that open row design right there. Very nice. Um, so open row, that's the third one that I'll say I consider the, uh, you know, part of my top three uh, uh, popular but unpopular at the same time because it's only popular with a certain segment. But then I think you start with a dressy. This one is more of a dressy, uh, dressy and open row, you know, so folks that are, you know, and the brim is not too wide. It's got maybe about, it's not even up to three inches, maybe about two and three quarter inch brim on this one. You know, um, this is with a particular brand that makes a lot of dressy, you know, type hats. And they actually do, you know, have some straw hats as well. But yeah, so, um, you know, this is more of a dressy version of it, you know, so, um, and, uh, and, and, and you can probably, yeah, you can probably dread it dress this down a little bit, you know, with jeans, and if you pull it together with the right outfit as well, yeah, it's not all just dress pants or something like that, um, so, yeah, you know, the open row, you know, I think is one that's stood the test of time as well as real popular with, uh, the country style, you know, hat wearers and, uh, you know, cowboy hat, hat wearers, whatnot, they wear a lot of open row, you know, that's the majority of what they wear, you know, you won't find them wearing traditional fedoras whatnot so so like i said uh yeah it's very nice uh open row style so this number three of the uh top three popular but unpopular hats out there so subscribe to the channel like share comment got some awesome hat content coming your way it's g the hat guy check me out on instagram is g the hat guy and also if you're on tiktok it's g the hat guy for now whatnot um so yeah, you know, got some awesome content coming your way. You're gonna be getting on the road, sharing different types of uh, hat information, hat entertainment. Subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment. If you know anybody else gonna be interested in this kind of uh, content on YouTube, okay? Uh, trying to build this channel. So hang in there with me, okay? Thank you, appreciate your time. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Thank you.